everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. This is <laughs> Shane. <laughs> Today we're looking at part two of our article called James Harden, a star on and off the court. And the vocabulary words are fan. Fan. Fans who want to get a picture with the singer should line up here. <laughs> <laughs> youth. Youth. <laughs> In the summer, Hector works at a youth camp. Mm-hmm. Educational. Educational. The government's new educational program will help foreigners learn Chinese. Opportunity. Opportunity. This TV show gives people the opportunity to get a singing contract. All right.、Wow. Scholarship. Scholarship. Janet received a scholarship to go to the University of Oxford. Ooh, good university. <laughs> That's right. James、uh, Harden. We're still talking about this great basketball player.、So、last time we mentioned he has a really cool beard. He's quite famous for his style, right? His appearance. That's right. He dresses really cool, and he even has his own fashion line with Adidas. Yeah, because、right? he always shows up in really, really cool outfits. Wow, but he's not only. Cool. When he goes to the basketball court, he's not only a great player, but he's also a really good person. What do you mean? Well, he helps out the community. Like you know, he plays for the Houston Rockets,、mm -hmm. and he thinks of that as his second home. Okay. So after a big hurricane destroyed parts of Houston, he gave a million dollars to help rebuild. <gasps> What a kind person!、Yeah. And you know, he also has、uh, youth basketball programs for you know little children who want to learn how to play basketball. He also has a family foundation too to help people who really don't have a lot of money to go to school. Wow, he really is a great basketball player and a great human being. I know. Let's learn more. James Harden, we love you. Mwah. James Harden, a star on and off the court. Harden is popular for his basketball skills, but fans also love his special style. His nickname is the Beard, and Houston fans shout "Fear the Beard" during home games. He is also famous for his fashion sense, as he loves arriving to games in hip clothes. He has even partnered with Adidas to create his own fashion line. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called James Harden, a star on and off the court, Part Two. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Yes, we're reading day two of our article about famous Houston Rocket player James Harden. He was the MVP last year as well as the NBA scoring leader. For the regular season, he had a tough childhood. We learned about that as well yesterday. But today, we're going to be looking at some of the things James Harden does away from the basketball court to give back to his fans and to his community, and see that he's not just a great player, but a great human being. Is that all, Mike? Are you forgetting something about James Harden? Well, the beard. The beard. The, the beard. beard. The beard doesn't do things for charity, though. How do you know? Well,、that? because it's a beard. Anyways, have it your way, dude. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on today's lesson. The first sentence says Harden is popular for his basketball skills and his beard. And his beard.、Hmm. But fans also love his. Special style. Apparently, James Harden is quite the dresser. He has a unique dressing style. But before we learn more about that, let's talk about the word "fan." It's a noun. Here, we are not talking about the thing that you turn on during the summer to cool down. Here, when you're talking about a fan, you're talking about A follower, a supporter of someone. James Harden has a lot of fans. These people like him, follow him, support him, go to his games and cheer him on, so on, so forth. For example, fans who want to get a picture with the singer 
should line up here. But anyways, let's talk it's about... It's a short line. Let's talk about James Harden's beard. And apparently, that is also his nickname. It says his nickname is The Beard. So his fans will call him The Beard in the way that maybe LeBron James fans call him King James or something like that. It's his nickname. And Houston fans shout, Fear the Beard! during home games. I've not heard that chant, so apparently when James Harden is playing well or when the fans want him to play even better, they will chant, Fear the beard! Fear the beard! Because, of course, when James Harden is running down the court to score a basket, his beard is leading the way. Literally. Literally. leads the way. That's right. And not only is his hairstyle very uh, unique, but also his clothing, clothing. style is yep. unique. Exactly. Next, we learn that James Harden, he, mm -hmm. is also famous for his fashion sense, as he loves arriving to games in hip clothes. He's very dapper. He's very dapper. He dresses in a very stylish mm -hmm. and unique way way and get this he has even partnered with adidas to create his own fashion line so he wears adidas sneakers and adidas clothes as well adidas clothes that he has helped to create or design even how cool all right folks with that it is time for us to take a break but don't go away we'll be right back after this Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，詹姆士·哈登 （James Harden） 是在美国一个最危险的地区长大的。妈妈怕他惹麻烦，所以就鼓励他打篮球。那哈登凭着自己的努力，在二零零九年进入 NBA。他出色的个人表现，使他在本季拿到最有价值球员奖。课文提到说，哈登因为篮球技能受到欢迎，不过球迷们也很喜欢他独特的风格。他的绰号是大胡子 （The Beard）。那么哈登他喜欢穿时髦的衣服去参加球赛，因此他也是以时尚品味而闻名的。甚至还有跟爱迪达联名推出自己的服饰系列。刚刚 Mike 老师用到 dapper，dapper dapper 这个字是拼作 d a p p e r。那这个形容词形容穿着整齐漂亮的，或是时髦会打扮的。那么单字 fan， fan 它是指迷，就是对可能某种体育活动啊，或者是名人非常爱好、非常感兴趣的人，也可以用来指狂热爱好者。像我们中文说的粉丝，其实就是 fan 的复数型 fans。接回到课文中 ，James Harden, a star on and off the court. However, many may not know that Harden is eager to help those in need. He regards Houston as his second home, so he gave the city one million dollars after it was hit by a hurricane in 2017. He also plays in charity basketball games and runs his own youth basketball programs. Perhaps the best example of his kindness, though, is the work he does through his family foundation. This foundation provides educational opportunities, such as university scholarships, to students in Houston. Okay, so James Harden,、mm. he's a star on the court. Okay, he's fantastic on the court, scores tons of points, and then on the way to the court, he's a well-dressed man as well. But remember, he's a star on the court and off the court as well. That's right, and we're not just talking about the cool clothes he wears or his. Adidas clothes, the the、uh, line of clothes for Adidas that he's designed. No, there's much more to him than just that. It says, however, many may not know that Harden is eager to help those in need. So many people do know, but what a great player he is! They might even know about his style and his work with Adidas, but many may not know. Many fans. May not know that Harden is eager to help those in need. He's enthusiastic to help out people who don't have as much as him. He regards Houston as his second home, so he gave the city one million dollars 
after it was hit by a hurricane in 2017. You guys might remember this. Last summer they had days of rain in Houston and the whole city flooded or very big parts of the city flooded. And James Harden, who plays there and lives there, he's from L.A., but he considers Houston his second home. He went to his ATM and took out a million dollars, which is a lot of money, and gave it to the city to help clean up and fix the city and help people out. Uh, but that's not all. He also plays in charity basketball games and runs his own youth basketball program. So, usually when James Harden plays basketball, he gets paid for doing that. James, though, James Harden is a star off the court, okay? He loves to give money to charities and to worthy causes, so sometimes he does play these games where he does not make money, mm -mm. but money goes to these charities instead. And if that weren't enough, he also runs youth basketball programs. There you go. So not only does he help out the city after a, a big disaster like a flood, but every year he's helping to make millions of dollars for these charities that help hospitals and schools, research diseases, and he's also helping the next generation of basketball players and many young people besides with these youth basketball programs. I mentioned this will help the next generation because when we talk about youth, this noun, we're talking about young people. Youth and teenagers, young people like that, it's all kind of the same. So youth sports or youth education, youth activities, these are for young people, generally junior high, high school, that kind of age. So he's helping these young people develop their skills. And yes, who knows, maybe the next Michael Jordan or James Harden will come out of some of these basketball programs for youth. Our example sentence, in the summer, Hector works at a youth camp. This is a camp for kids when they're on summer holiday to go and have fun, have some education, get some exercise, and just generally have a good time. So charity basketball, charity basketball games, charity basketball games, youth basketball programs, right. and you know what? There's more. In addition to these things, oh. he also has a family foundation. Yeah. Yes, perhaps the best example of his kindness, though, is the work he does through his family foundation. Hmm. A foundation, a special organization that does good stuff for society. Right. It says this foundation provides educational opportunities such as university scholarships to students in Houston. So if you're a young basketball player, of course the basketball program would help, but if you're not interested in basketball but want to be a scientist or a leader of some kind, an engineer, a doctor, who knows, whatever a young person wants to be, James Harden's Family Foundation can help provide money for their education. So that's going to help out a lot more people than just making great basketball players. There you go. Now, we've got three vocabulary words to talk about right now. The first of these is the adjective educational. Educational means having to do with education and learning. That's all there is to it. An educational opportunity is an opportunity to learn and to get an education. For example, the government's new educational program will help foreigners learn Chinese. I might sign up here so that I can learn Chinese. It sounds like a good educational opportunity for That's me. That's right. And an opportunity is another word. It's a noun. An opportunity is a chance to do something. And also, a chance to do something that you might not have forever. So often with an opportunity, you should take this chance now, you should take this moment now, because it might go away. An educational opportunity, a chance to go to a good school. Someone might come to you with a financial opportunity. If you invest your money, you could make a lot of money, but if you wait too long, the opportunity might go away. So an opportunity is a chance to do something probably a chance that won't last forever. For example, this TV show gives people the opportunity 
to get a singing contract. If they perform well on the show, they could be a star, but if they just stay home, it'll never happen. Mm -hmm. And a scholarship is definitely a great educational opportunity. Yes, scholarship, that is a noun. When we're talking about scholarships, we're talking about money that a good student is given so that they can go to school. If you get a scholarship to university, that university or someone connected to that university will give you money to go there for free. For example, Janet received a scholarship to go to the University of Oxford. So, with this scholarship, she can attend this university for free. Her tuition will be paid for. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 球迷们喜爱哈登的外表风格还有球技，不过很多人也许不知道，哈登他其实有着会帮助人的热忱，他很渴望可以帮助那些需要帮助的人。刚刚麦克老师用到一个形容词 ，enthusiastic，enthusiastic， enthusiastic, 它是拼作 e n t h u s i a s t i c， 那这个字是形容热情的或是热烈的。课文提到说，哈登把休士顿视为他第二家乡。那在二零一七年休士顿遭到飓风侵袭之后，各地严重淹水，他就捐给这个城市一百万美元来协助救灾。除此之外，他也在慈善篮球赛里面打球，并且有经营自己的青少年篮球计划。他透过哈登家庭基金会来提供受教育的机会给休士顿的学生，像是提供大学奖学金给学生们。我们先来看四个单字 ，youth， youth 这个字当可数名词表示青年或是年轻人，当不可数名词就表示青少年时期。Michael 老师在解释单字时提到 generation， generation 是拼作 g e n e r a t i o n， 那这个字表示世代或是一代。下一个单字 educational， educational 是形容教育的或者教育性的，那么 opportunity。Opportunity 表示机会或是时机，通常是指比较难得的机会。那么 scholarship scholarship 它表示奖学金。还有补充单字 hurricane hurricane 表示飓风。Charity charity 它当做不可数名词表示慈善公益，那当可数名词就是指慈善团体。至于 foundation foundation 它表示基金会。解华课文中。James Harden, a star on and off the court. Harden is one of the richest and best loved players in the NBA, but he is also generous with his money. This shows that Harden is a star both on and off the court. Okay, let's wrap up our article on James Harden. It's true, Harden is one of the richest and best loved players in the NBA. But that's not all. But he is also generous with his money.、Mm、hmm. Absolutely, a successful player, but he's used that success to help other people by being generous with his money. He gives a lot of it away and raises money for other people too. This shows that Harden is a star both on and off the court. Not only is he a Very amazing person, and doesn't he doesn't just perform well in basketball? He performs well in his community. He's someone you can look up to in many different areas of life. So here we go. We have our "What do you think?" question. Of course, it's on the topic of James Harden. So, what is your opinion of James Harden? I think James Harden is great because of the beard. No, I'm just kidding. The beard is great,、mm -hmm. but I think James Harden is a great person because of his contributions, especially his contributions to the city of Houston. He loves Houston, and now Houston loves him back. Anyways, folks, with that, our lesson on James Harden is now in the books, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. 课文最后提到，哈登是美国职篮最有钱而且最受喜爱的球员之一。不过，他对自己的钱也很慷慨，很愿意去帮助其他需要帮助的人。所以说，他在球场内和球场外都是明星，这一点都不为过。好了，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。
大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。第一个是 may 表示推测语气的用法。第二个是 be eager to 加上原形动词。第三个是 in need。第四个是 regard 的用法。首先，我们来学习 may 表示推测语气的用法。情态助动词 may 表示可能、也许。可以用来表达推测语气。那么 ，may 加上原形动词是指对现在或未来的推测。may 加上 have 加上过去分词，则是对过去事件或是过去动作的推测。来看两个例句 ：Some people are aware of global warming, but many may not know how serious it is. 有些人有意识到全球暖化这个问题，但许多人也许不知道它有多严重。那句中的 many 在这边是当代名词，来指很多人、许多人。那这个句子是对现在的推测。再看个例句 ：Ryan may have left the office. Ryan 可能已经离开办公室了。那这是对过去动作的推测。接下来。我们来学习 be eager to 加上原形动词。形容词 eager 是指渴望的或是热切的。be eager to 加上原形动词就是指迫不及待要怎么样，渴望要怎么样。例如 ，Sharon is eager to start her new job as soon as possible. Sharon 迫不及待想要尽快开始新的工作了。接下来，我们来学习 in need。In need 是指缺乏、短缺的，或者是需要协助的。那常常用来表达金钱或食物方面的缺乏。例如 ，Your generous donation will go a long way toward helping those in need. 您的慷慨捐赠将有助于那些需要帮助的人。例句中的 those 后方省略了 who are。那么 help those in need 就表示帮助那些需要帮助的人。最后，我们来学习 regard 的用法。regard 当动词是指认为或是看待。那么常用的句型是 regard 加上受词加 as 加上名词或形容词，表示将什么什么视为怎么样，认为什么什么是怎么样的。那么句型中的 regard 也可以用 think of 或者是 see 等等来代换。来看两个例句 ：She regards Susan as her best friend. 她把 Susan 视为她最要好的朋友。His students regard him as strict. 他的学生们认为他很严厉。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye.喜欢的对象要怎么开口呢？打破僵局的五句实用英文。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。我是子安。当我们面对喜欢的对象的时候，都不知道怎么开口。今天我们就要来教大家如何打破这种
必败，嗯、啊，不是一击必杀,必杀。可是那个如果不想用那么无聊的搭讪，应该要一点醋米哈，有趣的来吸引女生的注意。嗯点点 okay. 嗯、再来一个哈、嗯、，Is it hot in here or is it just you？ 哦，<笑>好坏、哦，这个很赞啊、哦！就是 Is it hot in here？ 就是这是这边很热吗？还是 Is it just you？ 哦，这边呢 ，Is it just you？ 就是说，知道你这边太热，还是因为你太辣，你太火辣，让我觉得想要流汗这样、嗯、？OK， 因为这个 hot 有语带双关 ，OK， hot 有天气很热，然后拿来讲女生的话就是非常漂亮，很辣这样。哦，对，那热会让人家流汗，对不对？是啊， hot 也会让人家流汗，就 hot。哎呦， Is it hot in here or is it just you？ 还有没有？还有没有？还有还有还有，啊，你可以直接直接说。Come on, 干嘛 ？Give me back. 什么东西 ？Give it back. What? 还我，还我。这个时候他就莫名其妙，对不对？到底发生什么事情？这时候你就可以申帅气申请的说 ，My heart. 啊、<笑>对对对，把我的心还给我，这样对对对。哇塞，这个这一招。Come on, give it back. What? Give it back. My heart. 哎呦。<笑>对，好，再来再来。你可以问他说 ，Sorry, do you have a bandaid? What happened? Band-aid 呢，就是那个我们台湾说 OK 绷，我、哦、这只手、就是嗯，对对对 ，Band-aid 要就受伤的时候要贴那个、嗯。为什么要跟他要 Band-aid 呢？因为你可以说、嗯、I just scrape my knee falling for you。嗯 ，scrape my knee 呢，就是擦伤了这个膝盖哈。I just scrape my knee falling for you。也是双关的感觉，对对，拜倒在拜倒石榴裙下，弄伤了我的膝盖，<笑>太厉害了。啊，最后还有没有？还有没有？呃，就是说 ，How did you do that? How did you do that? 你怎么办到的？这样，那他说什么办到什么？你就跟他说 ，Looking so gorgeous，、oh. 嗯、看起来这么的正。Gorgeous 这个字一定要学会哦。Gorgeous 对，拿来形容男生女生都可以，就是非常的漂亮，非常的棒。呃，用现在的话讲就是天才。天才。对 ，looking so gorgeous，、oh. 根本是天才。要不要喷口水？啊、哦，来看一下今天啊、哦，来看一下今天的 live action。Can I get your picture to prove to all my friends that angels really do exist? <笑> is it hot in here or is it just you? <笑> Come on, give it back, give it back. What? My heart. <laughs> uh, sorry. Do you have a bandaid? I just scraped my knee falling for you. Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? Looking so gorgeous. Yeah.